Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to take a little trip in the Bronze Pony Time Machine, back five years to when we first did the Hematite Heaven Ring. So this was, I think, like my second video, and it was pretty terrible. I, I don't know, I just couldn't stay in frame. I didn't know what I really what I was talking about. I'm so thrilled that you all got through that video, the ones that you, <laughs> those of you who have gotten through it, but I've gotten lots of people commenting on it, you know, new, newer people watching my channel. It's like, you know, you're out of frame. How am I supposed to do this? So I'm redoing this. So I've only re uh, did a redo on one other um, video. And so I'm looking through some of my old ones to see, does like some of them really need to be redone? And there are a few that <laughs> need to be redone, but this one especially. So if you've already done it, come on and see how much better I do now than I did back then. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to clear this off, get a materials list going, and we're going to get started. So don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Thanks so much. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you need two Delicas, one for the band, so you have more of that one, and then one for the little sort of transition accent color. You'll need an 110 seed bead, you need an 80 seed bead, and you'll need a uh, either a 3 millimeter crystal or a rondelle, so like a 3 by 2 millimeter rondelle uh, works really well. You might even try a 3 by 4 millimeter rondelle. It's like whatever's going to fit in that space right there. So you never know what's going to fit there. So just, you know, you can try whatever you have that's like in the 3, three millimeter ish range. Size 10 beading needle, a uh, little stop bead. Here, I'll put this over here as a stop bead. Um, 8 pound fireline black satin. Um, don't forget the little No More Oops bead tray. Isn't this cute? This is the mini. I love it. It's so cute. Um, so I'll put a link down below in the description box to this. Ringberries Mat, 10% off Ringberries Mat. Bronze Pony 10 is the code. I'll put that down below as well. Um, don't forget to um, please look down below so you get all the, I'll list all the colors, sizes, shapes, everything um, that I've used here so that if you want to purchase some beads, you can, or at least you know the colors um, that I'm using. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get started. Okay, let's get started. So I've put my beads out in the order I'm going to use them, and that's what's good about using this. Um, I just can't fit it on in frame, so I use this when I'm not filming. Um, you could just put each your bead, of your beads in a compartment and, you know, they're not going to get all mixed up, so that's always a good thing. So if you notice, I have my, I'm starting this way. So I have my band bead right here, so that's the silver one on this ring. Then I have my little transition color here, which is just this little bit of black here then my 110 seed bead, and these two are delicas, and I have my 110 seed bead, which goes right here, my 80 seed bead, which goes right here, and then my crystal, which goes along the top. And then we're just going to go down, and that's how, that's going to be our sequence. All right, so pick up 10 of your band color beads, and for me it's this blue bead, and I'm going to pull in super tight. Okay. So I'm just, I'm, I've dropped those down to my stop bead, and I'm just going to do a little flat, even count peyote. So picking up a bead, skipping the first bead, sewing through the next bead. Like that. I'm just going to do that again. Myself out a little bit, picking up a bead, exiting here, skip the next one, sew through the following one. I just put my thumb on it to hold it in place, and then I give it a little pull to make sure that bead is sitting correctly. I'm going to pick up another one, exiting this bead, skipping the next bead, sewing through the following bead. Pull into place. Picking up a Delica. Exiting here. Skip this one. Sew through this one. Pop that into place. This is what I have. Pick up another one. Exiting this one, skip this one, sew through the last one. Like that. 
Okay, so that's how you're going to start off. So just get to that point and then come on back and we'll continue. Let's continue with the band. So I'm still staying with the same first bead I'm using, the band bead. I'm going to pick up the Delica, sew through sticking the next sticking out Delica. Like that. Do that again. Pick up a Delica. Sew through the next sticking out Delica. Pick up a Delica. Sew through the next sticking out Delica. Again, through this one. One more time, through the last one. Gonna go back down again, picking up a Delica, sewing through the sticking out Delica. Just do this all the way down. Like that. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So you're just going to continue this for about, I would say, about an inch or about three quarters of an inch. So how the way we're doing this, here I'll just show you on this ring, is we're kind of starting somewhere here and going in this direction and we're going to go all the way around and then we're going to meet on the other side and zip up the band. So you want to get, you know, maybe I mean, half your band of your ring size done, or I just put it to about three quarters of an inch, and then I just, you know, attach. I'll just keep going on this side till I meet it. It doesn't necessarily have to attach right here in the middle. It could be here, it could be here. It doesn't really matter. All right, so get your length done. Um, like I said, for about three quarters of an inch, half an inch, and then meet me back here, and we'll continue. Okay, so I have my piece done. I've done about, I'd say about three quarters of an inch. So now I'm going to go to my next bead, and that's going to be that little darker transition color right here. So that's going to be this my, my second bead over. So I'm going to pick up one of those, and it's a, a Delica. Actually, this is a Toho Ico that I've snuck in here with my Delicas. So this is, um, these are those beautiful Toho beads that are so done, made so beautifully and precision, precision cut. A little more expensive, but I love them, and they worked. They work very well, you know, with the delicas right here. So I'm just going to put on three rows of my my next color. So that's one. Come back down. I'm just holding my thumb up there at the top to keep the beads nice and straight and in line. There, one more row, one more row. I just love this color too. Toho has some beautiful colors and there's I just love their cylinder beads. Yeah, they're called Icos and their cylinder beads. They're just gorgeous. They work beautifully for bezels, everything. And I love my delicas too, but these happen to be really stunning beads. Okay, one more. There we go. So I have three rows of my next color on. So get that done and come on back and we'll continue. Okay, going to my next color. So that's this guy right here. So my 11 O seed beads. So I have two colors of Delicas on. Now I'm doing my 11 O seed beads. So I'm just going to add an 11 O seed bead in between each Delica. So this again is, um, we're going to do three rows. There. There, so that's one. So you're just pulling snugly. They should, at this point, still just be very comfortably going into place. Maybe slightly um, getting a little, you know, wider at the end. One more row. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So we have our three rows of our 11 on. So get that done and come on back and we'll continue. Okay, time for the 8 -0. So see, we're going to the next color and that's going to be this sort of gray color right here. Or, here I'll show you on actually this I have rings all over the place this one so that's going to be that that 80 seed bead right there so picking up an 80 and this is where it's going to start to fan out and you're just going to put an AO in between each of the 11 O's so you can it's going to start to to fan out and like you can have to jam them in there a little bit and I'm pushing down on it as I do it just to keep things sort of straight and just give them a little press. So that's one row. Come back down. There's a lot of construction going on outside. I hope it's not disturbing the piece. There you go, one more. And these are actually Toho Eidos. So I'm kind of, I've got a mix of Toho and Miyuki. So I have, I have two Miyuki, two Miyukis and two Tohos here. It seems to be working out just fine. I'm just giving it a little pull, making sure everybody's kind of sitting nicely. Tohos actually are working out very well. Sometimes, like, Tohos are a little more square, you know, and that fits in beautifully. Okay, so there are my three rows of my Edo. So get that done, and then come on back, and we'll put on the crystals. Okay, let's get to our crystals. So we're down to this one now. So picking up a crystal, I'm going to sew through each, sticking out Edo. Like that. There you go. Go back up. And I'm just pulling everything you know, nice and snug, and I'm sort of putting my thumb in a little bit. It's going to curve on its own when we um, decrease going down the other side, so don't worry about it, but I'm just kind of holding everything so it's staying in place. There. There. Give it a pull, making sure it's Nice and snug. Let me pull some over here. So going back down. And notice how I hold the top so you don't pull those beads out of out of whack. So here, just holding my thumb up there when I when I pull down on the as I put a bead on. So see holding my thumb, pulling down, holding it with my thumb, the previous bead, and pulling it down. There. One more. There you go. All right. So pull that one into place, and there I have my three millimeters on. All right. So then I'll get that done and come on back, and we'll continue. Okay. This is what it looks like. So I'm working on the inside here. If you notice, that's why you know it's curving a little bit this way. So. I just think it's easier to work on the inside of the piece than the outside because that way I can make sure it curves by putting my thumb in. All right, so we've just finished putting on this bead right here. So now we're going to go down again. Eightos. We're going to go through each three millimeter crystal. So each one that's sticking out. So this is still peyote. And see how I'm pulling it a little bit? Pulling it upwards so everybody gets nice and tight. Pull. Another one. 
Got a nice pull. See how it's starting to curve? Okay, coming back down, picking up an 8 0. So we're going to do three rows again. Sewing through the next 8 0. And you notice how I'm holding my thumb on there and pulling it so that I don't pull anything out of um, place? There you go. So just keep bringing that down. Here we go. One more time. Go back up. 8 0. Holding my thumb on it, giving it a pull. It's really curving now. Last one. Giving it a pull. And I just want to show you what it looks like from the front. So here you go. Looking great, huh? All right, so um, get that part done and then meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, next bead down in line. So it's going to be this 11 -0. So picking up an 11 0. I'm going to sew through each, sticking out 8 0. Like that. Giving it a pull each time, pulling it in, holding my thumb. Like that. One more. Turn around and go back up again. Holding with my thumb, giving it a nice pull inward. So just through every previous bead, every sticking out 11 0, like that. I like to hold the ends and pull. One more. So three, we're doing three rows of every color as we go down. There. Except, of course, the very first one, which is the band color. Okay. Let's take a look. It's looking so good. It's nice. It's got a nice dome on the top. That looks great. All right, so get that done. Come on back and we'll continue. All right, next color. So that's this Delica. So I'm going to put on three rows of this Delica right here. Just sewing one Delica through each of the 11 0 seed beads. And you'll see it close up, you know, when you're doing it. It's hard to kind of see it, the sticking out part because it's curving now. Say, so, okay, there you go. So we're just each sticking out bead. Come on back down. Holding the top with my thumb. One more row. Okay. How are we looking? Looking great. All right, so get that done, and then come on back, and we'll start the other side of the band. Okay, we're back. So my last bead is the band bead, and you're just going to start so putting one bead in between each sticking out bead. Like that. And you're just going to keep doing this until you have the other side of your band length done. And you know, the way you're going to do that is just going to hold it around your finger. So you're going to do, you know, you're going to do probably the same, like half an inch, three quarters of an inch or so. And um, 
and then test it around your finger. And then we're going to zip it up. So here I'll just finish this row with you. Okay, so you're just going to keep continuing to do that and then like I said you're going to hold it around your finger like this. Oh, copper, I love those blue beads. And you see how, see my band on the other side is about centered. So I'm just going to keep going and then I'm, every once in a while I'm going to just wrap it around my finger and as soon as I'm at the point where I can zip it up, which where they're going to meet, then uh, we'll come back and we'll zip it up and you know I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Okay, so it's done. So now it just needs to be connected here. So the way we're going to do that is by zipping it up. Now I've left my tail thread on here. You could actually sew that or your working thread in at this point. So you want to make sure that you're going to be able to zip it. So you see how they f the bees fit in between each other like a, like a zipper? And the way you're going to do that is you, you have your thread coming out of an indented bead on one side and you're going to match that up with a sticking out bead on the other side. See that? So when I put these together, they're just I'm going to be able to zip it up. Okay? If you have two sticking out beads up here, you want to either take a row off or put one on so that you are situated like this. So here I'm sticking out. I'm, I'm, I <laughs> my thread is coming out of this indented bead. I'm just going to sew through the sticking out bead on the other side of the band like that. Now I'm going to go back to this side of the band and sew through this sticking out bead. Like that. Let me just pull that a little and you'll see the thread path. See that? So I came out of here, went through here, came out of here, went through here, going through this one. So just going from side to side, like that. And then this one on the other side, right here, and you'll be pulling tight, okay, so here, like that, so through the sticking out bead on the other side, and then the sticking out bead on this side, just like a zipper, so much fun, then this one on the other side, And this one over here, like that, and this one, like that, and then this one at the bottom, like that. Now I'm just going to pull my tail thread a little bit because I didn't sew it in so it did loosen up a little bit. So do you see how I'm right here at the end? I'll just turn it around for a second. And those two beads are not connected, so this side, this side, just going to take my needle, sew down through this bead to connect those two top beads, just like that. And then you're just going to sew on the diagonal, so sew so, so some beads on the diagonal just to reinforce and to, you know, to sew your threads in. So you're just going to keep going on the diagonal. And then you can just go, so here I'm exiting here, you can just sew up the next one like this to lock that thread into place. And then you can keep sewing on the diagonal. You know, you can just kind of go up and down a bit until it feels nice and secure. And then you want to take the stop bead off this guy, thread the needle, and sew that thread in also. And here we have it. So here, let's put this one on. Well, I can't quite fit it on that finger, so we'll just do it like that. Pop this one on. <laughs> We've got a lot of rings going on here. This one's a little too big for this finger, but we'll just kind of put it on there just for, for show. So here we go. Oh, we're missing one. Can you tell that I'm having fun with these? How cool are they? Aren't they beautiful? I just love this design. I'm so glad that, um, that I redid the video because the other one was terrible. So... <laughs> I hope, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope if you've already made it that you make it again and use this video.
All right, so take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.